Hello, pre-calculus students, and welcome to the continuing lesson on identities of double angles, half angles, and power reducing. And in this particular video, we're going to prove uh, this example here, which is another version of the, the cosine of a double angle. And so I'm going to start this one, much like I do on the other ones, uh, by going with the left-hand side. And so I'm going to get cosine u plus u. And I'm using pen here so you can see it better, but that's a, normally a big no-no in mathematics. And so I get uh, one, the first step is cosine of u plus u. And then I can just apply the cosine of a sum. So that gives me cosine u, cosine u, minus sine u, sine u. And whenever you're using, you're using identity like this, you need to write down the reason, because otherwise no one can follow the, your steps from step one here to step two. So I'm going to write that this is cosine of sum that allows me to, to get to that point. I'm going to simplify this. This is cosine squared minus sine squared. And this sort of gets me closer, but it doesn't get me to where I want. I want two cosine squared, okay? but I have a cosine squared and a sine squared. So this is where um, we're going to apply one of the um, original Pythagorean identities. Step four, cosine squared u minus. And so instead of writing sine squared u, I'm going to convert this into one minus cosine squared u. Okay, so this is Pythagorean identity number one, okay, the original Pythagorean identity. And from here, it's, a, it's pretty straightforward. We just have to clean it up a little bit. So I get cosine squared u. Distribute this negative sign, so I get negative one plus cosine squared u. And then just simplify and combine the like terms. So now I get two cosine squared minus one, which is the same thing as the right-hand side that we had up here. And that completes the proof. So I've written um, another problem here, and basically the third version of the cosine of a double angle. And you should try this on your own. And it's giving you a kind of a hint here to use examples two or three as a way to, to, start, your, to start your problem. Okay. All right, so that ends that, uh, that example. Um, and thank you for watching. Uh, see some of the other videos uh, on how to um, prove power-reducing identities and have angles identities.